Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to set up MGBA emulator on your Mac. So this allows you to play Game Boy Advance games, you can also play a Game Boy Color and regular Game Boy games as well. So I just want to say this video does not condone piracy, this is for educational purposes only and you should get your own you know, games via legal means. Okay, so first of all what you want to do is open up your web browser and type in MGBA go to the website again I'll provide this in the description go to downloads and click the Mac OS modern and if I click there I'll start downloading a file which I'm going to literally just cancel because I've already got it downloaded on the desktop and I've already got a game as well so just double click the MGBA file drag that onto applications and now that has now been installed. Very simple. Now what we're going to do is sort out our game. Because this is a zip file, we can just double click it. And here we go. We have our .gba game. If it's like Game of Code, it'll be like .gbc, you know, etc. And you can leave this here. The problem with just leaving it where you've extracted it is it will create a save file along with it. And this will be in this directory. That can get real messy real quick. So I recommend that create a folder i've created called roms in my documents folder and in there i'm going to create one called gba where all my game Boy advanced games will go and instead of creating one for the emulator because i've created it for you know game Boy advance if i use these games in another emulator like retroarch i can just do, you know refer to this folder and it'll still make sense and now what i'm going to do just drag that over or you can copy and paste your choice here we go, and now we can literally just, and you just put all your Game Boy Advance games in here. So now we'll launch up MGBA. MGBA, and click, uh, yeah, if this pops up, just click open, and now we're all done. There's a couple of things I wanna show you. First of all, go to settings. In here, make sure your audio driver is selected to SDL. Display driver is OpenGL. In, you know, gameplay, you wanna target, 60 fps the rest you can pretty much leave as is and the emulation again leave as is enhancements you want to go video renderer open geo you don't need a bio file even though it's you know it's optionally asks for them but you don't need to deal with that which is you know makes it really good so you can change the you know save game as save state directory i say leave it as it is unless you want to change it specifically and the only other thing you really need to deal with is in keyboard you can now set up your control so if i click that if i wanted that to be g now it's g but if i can have the up arrow uh, this will be x and z that's fine and this will be yeah that is going to be return and that will be backspace okay a and f okay we're all good to go in controllers if you have a controller connected it'll pop up here whether it's wired or wireless i'll have separate videos covering how to set that set different controllers up let me know in the comments which controllers you would like to see playstation 4 ps5 dual sense xbox one xbox series controller if you want to you know see a nintendo switch controller set up i can even try a wii you know in the remote as well remote and yeah i'll let you know so you just select here and then just map your controls as you normally would and you can set some shortcuts I, i'm not going to bother with that and now we're all good to go so so we can just click x and now what we're going to do again i just want to make sure the settings are saved if i go to and they did not because i can't actually see the save button is because i've got it this is zoomed in heavily which can get real annoying so here the apply button literally down there which is super annoying so i'll just click apply this way you probably want to appear you know like this for you guys just because you'll have a you know high resolution display and okay in enhancements whilst we're still here again keeping everything else the same and what you want to make sure is the high resolution scale will increase that so this just will make it look sharper because game Boy advance is a really old system you can you know crank it up a fair bit i'll crank it up to like you know seven that, that should be fine but i would say experiment crank it up a couple see how it goes if it works great if not then lower it now if i because it just needs to restart to get the everything in effect and you can click add folder to library and for me it's in roms the gba 
click open and now if I go to file the library and oh, we'll just load ROM directly so if we just go load ROM and go to GBA select it there we go so we can just we're just waiting for the game to load up I mean it already has but we can start playing it I'm just gonna turn the volume off and I want to show you a couple more cool things so one thing I want to show you is save state so if we go to new game I'm just gonna skip all this I'm gonna gain some gameplay Okay, so now if I go to file, save games, and go to, sorry, I'll go to save state. So save state, click empty, and there we go. So if I exit this, if I relaunch this now, and now if I go to load ROM, select the game, it's starting back up again. But the beauty of emulators such as this with save state is you can go to file, load state, and you're back where you left off. And that's it. It's really is that simple. And that's pretty much it. There's nothing else that you want to mess with for the most part. Again, you can go to settings. You can have a look at like the enhancement that's increasing, you know, the scale to make it look as good as you know you can get it. And apart from that, that's it. So I'm just going to apply that. But remember, a lot of it you probably will have to restart anyway. And now we are playing Game Boy Advance games on our Mac. And that's it. So I'm just going to close this down. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this video, if you want to, you know, you know, know about anything about the files that you need for you know you know playing games about you know setting it up feel free to message me and that's it i'll look forward to seeing you in the next video let me know in the comments what video emulation video you'd like to see next bye bye